Hey you guys, it is me Laura with Scraps of Encouragement and I am here with you today for a simple stamp stamping Monday. Um, of course today if you are in America in the US is Memorial Day and for those of you who are not, Memorial Day here is where we take time off work and remember those soldiers who have paid the ultimate price fighting in our armed, armed forces. And so it's a day where we kind of reflect and think on those and I especially today am thinking of family members who are missing their loved ones who did not come home from a war or serving in in the armed forces and so I thought today as a tribute I would do some special American themed cards that honestly my thought is if you know someone who's missing a loved one who's grieving a loss they take some time to make them a card and let them know that you're thinking about them and if you have any memories of their loved one share those with them because that means so so much to them today if you don't know someone this is just a great card that you can make just to show support as an american citizen so let's go ahead and get started we're going to be using the woodward's stamp set today this is retiring i'm so sad it's going away but it was still available through june 3rd or while supplies last so you can still get that um in my shop there and our colors are going to be cherry cobbler knight of navy and early espresso and today i'm doing three cards because i just could not help myself so i'm gonna go ahead and get started i am using this sentiment that says a note for you and to start with i am going to ink that up really well in early espresso and i only have this in an ink spot i don't actually have the full size pad so i'm gonna use that and ink spots are great sometimes i actually prefer having an ink spot but there you know what this is not straight on there that's gonna make it hard for me to see them straight but um ink spots are great when you're just starting out because you can just get the reinker and get a, a bunch of ink spots and you can have more colors in your collection while you are starting out so i'm just gonna stamp that right there says a note for you and then I am going to start with my cherry cobbler and when you do this you are going to want a scrap piece of paper either under or close by because we're going to do what's called stamping off so I take the red the cherry cobbler but when I stamp it that's really bright or really dark and I don't want it quite that dark so I'm going to stamp it off once and then I'm going to stamp it on my card and I am just going to stamp all over card I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to do the same thing with my knight of navy of course doing American theme cards you know they're going to be red white and blue now you can do these with other colors for sure you can um use the heart or the, the, there's a heart there's a circle there's a moon you can do this with the different shapes and have kind of the same same idea but use it for different occasions so i'm going to stamp this off too stick it right there stamp that off and it's important that you stamp it off the paper just a little bit too um so that you don't you don't necessarily have to fit everything on the paper so that is my card, that's it, that's all you have for the first one. And I also wanted to show you here what I did with this one. Once I stamped it, I cut it down a little bit and put it on some Knight of Navy and I used some pearls there and some Knight of Navy twine. And then I took, um, there's the star stamp that is in it in the um, stamp set and I just used my Versamark ink to stamp around the edge. So there's a little stepped up version. But this is a super cute card and like I said, you could substitute one of these other shapes as well and get the same idea. So that's card number one. So now we're gonna go with card number two. So I'm just gonna line it up and I am gonna stamp all the way down my card. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I am going to stamp, oops, I forgot to stamp off on that one all the way down here and you don't have to stamp off if you prefer that full color i like the way that it looks stamped off that's why i'm doing it but it's up to you okay so now i'm going to clean off my stamp and i am going to take the blue now one thing with this stamp and you'll notice this with various stamps as well is that if you look at this stamp 
it lines up upside down right in between the other stamp. So we're just gonna line it up, stamp down, line it up. See how that goes together super well? Um, that's gonna make this really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you. I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna make a few more rows on my card and then I will come back and tell you what I'm doing next. Okay, so I have this all stamped out and now I'm gonna add my greeting. And for this, I'm just using a simple thank you, but I am gonna do a little bit of a rainbow effect. So I am going to take my ink pad. It really doesn't matter which one you start with because these are both really dark colors. And I am just going to find a, about midway through the stamp, a little bit over, and I am gonna ink my stamp up with a the red. Then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take, let's see if I can show you this the best way. So I'm gonna try and go just a little bit over the red, just barely over, and ink that up. And then, when I stamp it on my card, let's see, make sure I do it straight, okay? Gives a little bit of a rainbow effect, and there, there's my card. So that is my thank you card. That is card number two. So for this last card, I saved it for last on purpose because it is a little bit messy. I am going to start with my note card. I am going to use my block as a stamp. So I'm going to get it inked up just the edge of it here with my red ink. I'm going to line it up and stamp down. Oh, that didn't get so great, but that's the great thing about this technique. You can re-stamp it, rub it a little. It's not super precise. So I'm going to get my little craft foam pad here, put that underneath and that will help get a better stamp. So then I'm gonna go across, here's that scrap paper I was using earlier. So I'm just gonna go across the top of this here. And be careful, cause you're using a lot of ink, so it's gonna be pretty wet. And you can come back and fill in some of these spots with your block. Okay, get this edge a little better there, okay. Now I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Flip my block and use it. It's one thing that's fun about crafting is figuring out how you can use your supplies in ways that are a little bit different and unique. Kind of stretch them a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back over this a few times just to make sure that my line is pretty good as far as it meets up at the top. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna pull my star back in. And I am putting my um, circle in the middle. Ooh, careful, don't get inky. But I want it to be really light because I am going to be stamping my sentiment on top of it. So I'm actually gonna take this circle and I'm gonna stamp it off two times, actually three times, and then I'm gonna take it, put it right in the middle of my card. And it's gonna be pretty light, but that's, that's what I want. So there we go. And then I'm gonna take my star, I'm gonna stamp it off twice, put it right there. And then I'm gonna take my heart and I'm gonna stamp it off twice. Stick it there. And then I'm pulling in this other thank you sentiment that says thanks a bunch. And I'm going to use my early espresso and ink that up really well. And then 
going to line it up in my circle, stamp it down, and there we go. That is our final card for today. So there are three cards for you. I'm going to close up my ink and I will show them all to you again. They're all really simple and you can do them with just a few basic supplies. So here is one card, here is the other card, and then this is, where'd it go? This is the, the last card that we did. So three different ways to kind of show patriotism and, and through cards. And again, you can change these up by using different images, different colors, but I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. And I hope that you find joy in creating as you spread kindness and encouragement with your scraps of paper. I'll talk to you later.